Hi. And Happy New Year. We've done a New Year's video, but it is the New Year, so Happy New Year. Um, today's going to be quite a short one. We were hoping to be able to take you to Windsor with us. We're going to try and go to Windsor. Yeah, we're going to have four days out. New well, Year out. No, we're, we're yeah, grounded in the marina. Rain, um, floods. Yeah, there's been a lot of water, a lot of rainfall. Um, so pretty much most of the Thames is all on. It. All of it now, Some is of it's it? on yellow. A few bits are on yellow. The rest of it's all on red warnings. Yeah. Um, can't so, go out. No, so if it's on red warning, you can't. No. You, well, you can, but you'd be a bit crazy to try and. Yeah, I wouldn't go out in this. No. No. And um, the flow is quite strong. I've got a little bit yeah. of footage um, just literally from the front of our boat, just in the marina, and you can actually see the flow just in the marina. Oh, you can feel it. We're, yeah. We're just sat here, no wind, and you can feel the boat moving like this. No. Yeah, and out on the river, it's, yeah, it's probably going a fair pace. So, um, yeah, so instead, um, we've just caught up on a few little jobs, cleaned all the windows. Boat I, life. I did do a little <laughs> video on how we clean the windows. We're lucky enough that our windows slip out. Um, so you can actually take the windows out to clean them, so you can clean both sides, um, mm. which <laughs> I don't know if we knew about or not. Because we didn't to start we with didn't because when day we one when we first got When we it, first right? got the boat, I cleaned all the inside of the windows and my poor daughter was um, <laughs> hanging off the balancing roof. <laughs> on the gunnels, wasn't she? Hanging off the roof, upside, upside down, down <laughs> cleaning, windows. cleaning the outside of the windows. And then when I said to her, oh, you can take the windows out, she was like, you, you could have told me that. And <laughs> <laughs> she finished. Yeah. So, yeah. Twelve of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of window cleaning today looking at how to uh get rid of the birds maybe yeah. not get rid of the birds we like birds but you know you stop just them. don't want to have a party on the roof no pooping on the roof also we've got a bit of a fuel leak haven't we so we've had sort yeah, of a little on, inspect of that too the... uh, and also central heating again but not a problem this time which was good oh no upgrade yeah. <laughs> um, and at the end of this video today, we'll give you a little bit of an update so far on our bow thruster. Oh, yeah. Good news. Yeah. So stay tuned and we'll tell you about that. So back in the summer, when we filled or last filled our fuel tank to the top, we noticed that the button whatever it's called, sort of rope <laughs> fender button. The rear bumper. That's the one, <laughs> on the back of our boat, um, seems to be dripping fuel. Yeah. Um, and we didn't know whether the guy had just spilt some or something. Um, so Richard's just having a look down the inspection hatch, um, at the top of the fuel tank. The problem is because we haven't, sorry that's the dog scratching, because we haven't um, filled the fuel tank back up we can't see any leaks at the moment. It's leaking out of here somewhere. <laughs> we <knew that. laughs> no, when you filled, we did that. We filled up in Abingdon didn't we? Yeah. And then we thought it was just a mess on the back of the boat. Yeah. So we washed it all off didn't we? Yeah. But then we were cruising for a lot so the fuel level went down. And then we didn't realise that there was actually a hole there, did we? No, I don't know if you can see it. There is an exit hole at the back here that goes out underneath the back mushroom or the bumper bit, isn't it? Yeah. And then we realised, well, that's what the issue is. That it's, it's leaking from somewhere on the top of the fuel tank. And there is an inspection hatch there for the fuel tank, which looks like it's siliconed down and then bolted but we don't know if that's the problem because we've only got a quarter of a tank of fuel. Yeah, so until we fill... I know what's going to happen though, we're going to fill it right up and then it'll start leaking and then we can find out where the leak is. Yeah. Until we do that, we're never going to find it. I'm just hoping that they haven't caused a problem with these welds onto the top of the tank and put a hole in it somewhere. But we won't know. No. So... That's a... A problem for another day isn't it yeah well we we're more by swan sanctuary so i think that probably doesn't help why do you swan it's not the swans no the swans don't get no, on the roof do they no 
We seem to have a lot of like, birds, ducks, geese, all of them, don't we? <laughs> and I think when we're not on the boat, they end up having a party on our roof, don't they? Yeah. So the whole front of the boat is a mess. So now we've got to solve that problem. <laughs> <laughs> and I was lucky enough for Christmas <laughs> to get one of these. A little tail. <laughs> a blow-up balloon that's going to bounce around on the top of our roof and really annoy me at night. <laughs> We didn't know what these were. We saw them, didn't we, as we were going so down in the Henley, didn't we? All the boats in Henley had these. Yeah. Sort of we were little... like, what are those funny balloons? What are they celebrating? What's going on? Is yeah, there a party? we thought it was a party, didn't we? <laughs> but no, it's to stop the bird parties. Yeah. It's bird so, balloons. It's even got yeah. little... It's got stick-on eyes to go eyes. in the middle. And then we'll put another bit of string that's over there. We'll tie that up around there and whack it around a mushroom and let it bounce around the roof and... You'll probably wake up and what's crossed. that on the roof. Yeah, it'll either keep us awake at night or yeah, it might stop the birds actually having a party on there because I've got a lot of cleaning to do up there. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully uh, we might cure the poop problem. We'll see. We'll blow it up and we'll get up on the roof. <laughs> We've well, got a pump out from under the seat. <laughs> So something, well, we probably did realise because we'd rented a uh, narrow boat, but something you might not realise um, if you get a, well, certainly a new boat, um, is your option for the heating is either on or off. <laughs> Literally that. Hot so, or cold. Yeah, so there's no way um, to control the temperature. So something we did right sort of from the get-go. It was, yeah, well, the first things we put on the boat. Yeah, was a thermostat. And Richard, you said you'd seen quite a few people on groups, hadn't you? Asking, asking, yeah, asking what you do with it. And there's a couple. I mean, I've seen people have hives put on, but I don't know how they would do it. No, um, but we've got quite a simple heat miser. But it's 12 yeah. volt. And it works with the heater on the boat, the Webesto. It just literally plugs in. So it's just done. Yeah. So to wire it in, it actually is simple. Yeah, you just cut a hole. Scary. <laughs> in your nice new boat <laughs> and then take out the old switch take off the wiring and plug it straight into the back of the thermostat and bang it's working yeah um, it's all fully programmable it's great as if you were at home yeah, yeah so <laughs> we can control the temperature we'll show you the thermostat first of all so yeah when you get the boat there's your heating and that is your button so you switch that on and now your central heating's on it's not lighting up because we've disconnected it and then to turn it off you just switch it back off but what we've done is take the wire off of the back of that and you put it into this unit. And if you put your hand near it, it all lights up. And yeah, fully adjustable, just like you would at home. It's, it's great, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit, once you get it on there, it's really simple to use. Um, but yeah, we then upgraded it, didn't we? Like today. <laughs> we have, yeah, for Christmas. Richie got. A great Christmas present, which yeah. we'll show you. Yeah, and it's to do with this little bit on there in the corner. I don't know if you'll see it. Yeah, there you go. If you haven't got the bit we're going to show you, you don't get that lit up. So, yeah, we'll show you this bit. There it is. My Christmas present. <laughs> I'm treated well. <laughs> this is the Neo Hub network that now goes in to the thermostat that we've just shown you. And that this is even simpler to fit. It's literally a black box down there. Power it up and plug it straight into the back of your router. And then you have a home network for your hot water and heating. So what does that mean now that we can do? It means that you won't get to the boat again. It's freezing because I can put the heating on at lunchtime when I'm at work with the phone. <laughs> and we can get to the boat and you won't go. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be brilliant because every time we turn up to the boat, it is freezing because it's we don't want to set the heating. It's set to 12. Yeah, we don't want to set it to sort of 20 when we're not no, in because that's be. just a waste of fuel, etc. Yeah, wasting diesel. So it's set to 12 and yeah, it comes on at 12 degrees and you think 12's cold, don't you? Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> I work outside all day, so 12's toasty. <laughs> <laughs> so, bow thruster news. Or lack of news. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on the phone to everybody, 
chasing up, finding out what's going on. Apparently Colin would know what's happening. Colin would have meant to be speaking to Vetus, arranging it so that we, I don't know, They first of all they said they wanted the boat out of the water, it wouldn't be happening for ages, cranes aren't working and all this stuff. And yeah, we weren't really getting anywhere. Um, so we were still in the you know, out in the middle of nowhere with it, weren't we? Mm -hmm. We didn't know what was going on. We were just waiting for phone calls to see. And then, wasn't it? I don't know what day it was. It was the day before Christmas Eve. 23rd. Yep. I had an email out of the blue um, from the marketing director, I believe, of Vetus in the Netherlands. It's their head office, isn't it? Head office, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> really nice email basically saying, want to get this sorted for you as quickly as possible. I uh, yeah. was astounded, um, so obviously emailed him straight back. Um, Christmas Eve, he emailed me back again um, and Wanted said... Wanted to do more now, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. basically saying he would get, um, get in touch with somebody in the UK. Um, ten minutes later, um, a guy from the UK, from Vetus, had emailed me. As soon as I got in, I, um, he wanted to know my phone number, so I sent him my phone number. Literally, the phone was still in my hand after emailing and my phone <laughs> rang. Um, talk about amazing customer service. Was, yeah, he must have been sat there on his computer. Yeah. And it's gone bang and he's just dialed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hmm? um, so I put him on the phone to Richard because he's a technical one. And, yeah, yeah. explained to him what was going on with it, what happened with it, what I'd done to check everything. And he was like, no, that's fine. And he's basically said, leave it with him. And yeah. He will get hold of everybody involved in the job and basically kick them along. Yeah. And so he's saying, yeah, I need to get the boat out of the water. I just need a slipway. Basically ram the front of the boat up the slipway on some wood and pull it up a little bit with a tractor and you're done. Yeah. He said it's simple. Hours work, he was saying. So, yeah, he's on the case now, big time. Yeah, uh, so... Getting him to do it. That, that was yeah. absolutely amazing. Like, I mean... Yes, please. The, I mean, the, the power of YouTube, really, because... Um, he must have just seen it. Well, the it. guy in the Netherlands, yeah. yeah um, seen it first of all, commented on our videos. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just amazing. Mm. Yeah, hopefully before too long, um, it will get fixed. Obviously, everything's slowed down because of Christmas and New Year. Um, but, yeah, yeah, hopefully there'll be a vlog coming very soon. With it getting fixed. I'll be chasing them on Tuesday. Yeah. The 4th. <laughs> right. right. So, yeah, that's us for today. Quite a short one, really. Like always, like and subscribe. Um, and we will see you next time. You never know. It might be getting our bow thruster fixed. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.